We had a whirlwind three days in Amsterdam. The very first thing we did was go to the Anne Frank house. I tried to get tickets the day before, but completely sold out. So as soon as we landed in Amsterdam, we put our bags out and we went online to see if we can get in that way, and we got lucky. We waited 40 minutes, but it was worth the wait. It shows you what life was like for a Jewish family before and during World War II. And afterwards, because we always feel sushi deprived, of course, we went for a sushi restaurant. Over the next two days, we first visited the Rijks Museum, where you have these masterpieces. And what I enjoyed most about it, though, was looking at the faces that were painted and to see the expressions on their face, and also to see the impact that the Dutch had on New York and beyond. After that, we went to the Van Gogh Museum, which I particularly liked because it shows you his personal life and the letters that he wrote, which gives you the background and the inspiration that went into his paintings. In the evening, we went to the Red Light District, where the women stand on storefront windows and show you their wares. Not something we were quite used to, and no pictures allowed. The next day, we went on the canal tour, which gives you a full city view on over 100 kilometers of water. And our final stop was to the Heineken Beer Museum, which shows you how beer is made from soup to nuts or to beer. And it also has a lot of interactive displays, which were so much fun. We had pictures and doing different things. All in all, it was a super three days.